Angèle Dubot and her chamber group La Pieta. Music by Nino Rota from the uh, late 60s film version of Romeo and Juliet, A Time for Us. And before that, the Quebec Symphony Orchestra and Claude Debussy's Danse. It is 9.34, a mere 3 degrees downtown. We're going up to a sunshiny high of only 8 today. Now coming up... On the 17th at the beautiful Carlude, TD Bank Group is presenting Art with Heart, Casey House's signature fundraiser. Uh, over 19-year history, Art with Heart has earned an incredible reputation. It is one of the most unique fundraising things that I know of because it is an art auction featuring contemporary and up-and-coming artists and all, all in support of the great work, uh, the compassionate work for HIV AIDS down at Casey House. And joining us in the studio this morning is uh, co-chair Simon Clemens, a lawyer, a partner at Borden Ladner Gervais, and Dustin Woods with Volvo Canada, which is sponsoring the Emerging Artists Collection this year. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's start uh, with you, Simon. Give us, give us a bit of background on not only this year's event, but uh, the entire history as well. Sure. So the event started 19 years ago um, as a small fundraiser in a parking lot. Um, seriously? Seriously, uh, outside 80 Spadina, and has uh, had a number of homes f- over the last number of years, uh, including the AGO, and mm-hmm. we've been at the Carlu for about five years now. Yeah. Uh, it is a party and an auction. Mm-hmm. Uh, so from... 5.30 until 7, amazing food, uh, great drinks, the opportunity to see all the works. And then at 7 on the dot, the auction starts. And it is totally professionally run with auctioneers from Waddington's and Bonham's. It's an incredible... I was just looking over the, the catalog again this year. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the artwork is just amazing. How do you do this every year? Well, we... Assemble a curatorial committee of about 12 people, and we have a mix of collectors, gallerists, curators, and artists. And we basically go out like tentacles across the country to, <laughs> to, all, of, to all of the galleries and uh, ask the galleries if they're willing to donate. Mm-hmm. And we have an idea in our minds as to the the artists who we want and the type of work that we want to try and gather. Mm -hmm. And then over the course of about uh, January through May, we look at about 800 to 1,000 works from about 300 or more artists. Mm -hmm. And... Through some lively debate, we uh, we whittle <laughs> we whittle that down yeah. uh, to the catalog that you see here, which has eighty six uh, lots from what we think uh, are some of the most important artists in the country. Oh, to be a fly in the wall on those whittling down processes. <laughs> Now, um, Dustin, you're involved. You're from Volvo Canada, which is sponsoring the Emerging Artists this year. That's correct. Yeah, this is our second year doing it, mm-hmm. and uh, you know we're we're really pleased to be involved with uh, with such a great event uh, and such an incredible cause, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there will be 14 pieces uh, from the Emerging Artists Collection, who really are by no means amateurs, uh, right. you know, saying yeah. emerging artists, it's just they yeah. have yet to really, uh, you know, blow up. But the interesting thing about the Emerging Artist Collection is that if you if you go back and see some of the people who have been previous Emerging Artist Collections, now they're huge. Yeah. And uh, so it's actually a great opportunity uh, for a worthwhile investment because, uh, you know, the, this event can actually be a tipping point for our, some artist career, mm-hmm. c- careers. And uh, so it allows for a huge opportunity for investment for people who are out looking for the right piece. I know I've been, uh, you know, going over the four years four or five years we've been involved with this at the station I've been kicking myself mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because I, there are, I wish I had gotten in yeah, on that. definitely and, and the go ahead oh, I was going to say it's exciting to see what some pieces go for and sometimes it can, it can blow up and, and uh, they go for way more than you expect and sometimes you know you could get a, an incredible deal that must be and I mean granted this, this, is, this is a benefit for Casey House but it is a benefit for the artist as well oh, absolutely. to get this exposure yeah. how much money has Art with Heart raised uh, nearly, you know? f- nearly five million dollars. That's outstanding. All of which goes to the community programming for Casey House. So, uh, Casey House has 
inpatient services for people that come to the facility, but then also there's outreach, uh, both in education, and palliative care, and, and uh, other care that's provided in the home. Mm -hmm. And uh, the money that is raised by the Art with Heart auction has typically gone to the community services. I see. How much are you looking at raising this year? Do you have a goal in mind? Yes, we have a goal. Um, last year, our our gross was eight hundred and fifty thousand. Mm. Our goal this year is nine twenty five, and then our goal for next year, which will be the twentieth year of the event, is a million dollars. Wow! So we'd love to see it become a million dollar fundraiser. Uh, for its 20th anniversary. Given some of the artwork that's in this year's, I, I, I think you might surpass. I mean, that's we're always hoping. the goal, isn't we're, it? Right? We're, we're hoping. Um, the, uh, typically, um, we've been able to realize about 130% of the value of the collection mm. because there, there are tax incentives. So you're, sure. not just, you're not just paying out uh, a lot of money. You're... You know, you're you're being philanthropic, but any time that you bid over 120 percent of the estimated price of the work, you're going to get a tax receipt for uh, the difference between the estimated value and what you pay. So it's uh, it's a win-win for, for the uh, for the buyer and for Casey House. All right, now I have to ask you this because I think I ask this every year. What have you got your eye on? <laughs> um, because I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got an um, empty, empty piece of wall space you're looking at. So, for? well, there's... You can always the, make room, right? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a work uh, in the emerging collection called uh -huh. um, Infinite Shrimp Ring, which is, <laughs> oh, yes. which is item number 39, <laughs> which yeah. is actually sculpture. So if you imagine um, the, the plastic shrimp that you would see outside a sushi restaurant in Tokyo... Uh, this is an infinite shape and an infinite number of uh, of shrimp. And <laughs> sometimes, you know, if you you know go to a lot of client events and you entertain a lot at home, your life sort of seems to take on the aspect of being an <laughs> infinite, infinite shrimp, shrimp. ring. <laughs> I like that. What about you, Dustin? You got your eye on uh, anything? Yeah, the uh, the emerging artists, obviously, uh, uh, lots that uh, that Volvo Canada is sponsoring is what I've been looking at the most. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the the opening lot actually lot thirty three. Oh yes, uh, Team Macho mm -hmm. uh, is a very interesting piece. Has been getting a lot of attention, and so I think that'll really start to set the tone for the emerging artist collection. Uh, another one actually is lot forty five uh, by Matt Moreland, and uh, it's it's very Ooh. very interesting. Uh, piece, and uh, I think it'll get a lot of attention as well. And actually, Simon had a chance to meet him and uh, and talk with the piece yesterday. And he's a real emerging artist. Uh, I think recent graduate of OCAD or in his last year of OCAD. In his last year, his of last OCAD. year of OCAD, yeah. And he's incredibly excited to be a part of this, and uh, we're excited to have him there. If I had the money, I'd go for the Douglas Copeland one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that looks pretty neat. Yeah, and I mean, my descriptions aren't going to do it justice. So really, uh, we're urging people to go visit mm -hmm. artwithheart.ca, and yes. they can see all the pieces online for themselves. Yep, they go online today. Free public previews they, at, at they, Waddington. They're online. They're, but they're online on right the now. wall at Waddington's. Right. So Waddington's on King Street. Yep. From twelve to five, starting today through until the fifteenth, are the free public previews, or online at www.artwithheart.ca. This is uh, an amazing uh, fundraising event. I wish everyone concerned nothing but success with it. If I could just say thank yes. you to you, yes. but also to the TD Bank Group, mm -hmm. which is our presenting sponsor. Indeed. And uh, we couldn't be doing what we're doing without their sponsorship. All right. So please buy tickets. Indeed. <laughs> to get these tickets, because the, the auction is on the 17th, uh, it's at the Carlu, 444 Young Street, the 7th floor. You can get your tickets online at www.artwithheart.ca. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank, thank you for having us.